Hello everyone, and welcome back to the workshop. In this video, we're going to uh, peel a little bit away from doing the log furniture, and we're going to make something that's a little more, I don't know if the normal is the word, whatever the word is, just regular furniture. Like, we're going to make a little, uh, uh, a little cart thingy for holding cookbooks, just like a little tiny cabinet deal. I don't know what you really call it, but the cookbooks will sit at an angle so you can look down and see them. So this has to be small. It's going to fit into an area that only will hold 16 inches. So anyway, we're still going to do it out of the, the wild black cherry that I've used in other videos that, from trees that I milled with my Alaskan chainsaw mill. So anyway, we're just kind of doing the boring part, getting started here, sizing up the boards, going to get them planed uh, to within a quarter inch and get them glued together and stuff like that. These here are some of the boards that we're going to be taking the pieces out of. I'm going to need some that are 2 inches wide by, I don't know, roughly probably 40 inches tall. My shelves are only going to be able to be uh, 14 and a half inches wide, and we're going to have 3 quarter stock on each side, which brings it up to 16. So anyway, it's all, yeah, like I said, it's all still rough. Cherry right now, it's about an inch and a quarter thick. And get this plane down and glued together. These are all cutoffs of stuff that I did not use when I made the log dresser. The one on the left here I have planed down to 7 eighths of an inch. And this one over here now is not planed yet. It's still at about an inch and a quarter. that same board all plain down. What I'm doing here, I need to get some two inch, like, I don't know, legs or almost like styles that are going up on the side. So I have a, a chunk of wood here and I'm just going to cut them out of there. They're too long right now, but then I can get rid of these cracks and stuff like that. Well, at least I got some rough lumber now to start to work with anyway. And there we have the three of the four that are needed to make the, it's almost like a, well it's a 45, but it'll look like an L-shaped area to hold the books. And then the other one that I have is a full-size plank. And this one here, this wider, this one here will be the very bottom shelf. Okay everyone, well I'm back out in the workshop here. It's been a few days, work was busy. Uh, we got a real cold spell coming through here right now, so I had a bunch of stuff I wanted to do on the hobby farm to get the animals ready for it. And I was kind of going back and forth in my head on what I'm going to do. And until you really get the idea in your head as you go through the stages, you kind of sit there and you're kind of in limbo a little bit. So this is just a rough drawing of kind of what it's going to look like. I want it to be about, I don't know, between 42 and 46 inches tall. So different than the drawing that you saw in the very beginning of the video. But at least now in my head I've kind of got a picture of it and now I'm moving forward. The sideboards that you saw me cutting out on uh, the last time I was out here, those I have planed down now. I've got them down to two inches and stuff like that. But to create a curve in the uh, two front ones, we have to glue some boards together. So with this here, I want to come up about 36 inches and then I want to create a curve so I can get up to 42 or 46 inches. And to do that, this whole total thing is 15 inches wide, but uh, you have to be able to get at those cookbooks when they're sitting on there. So at 36 inches here, now I'm going to start my curve. It'll go like this and it'll come back up and then we'll be able to put a small top on there and you'll still be able to get at the books and this won't get in your way. So what I'm doing now is I'm just going to take and and the reason these boards are like this is because I am running out of dry cherry boards. So I got these all planed down 
and uh, joined, and now I'm just going to glue these together on both of these, let them dry, and then I can come in here and take and cut that out on the bandsaw, and then there'll be a lot of sanding. Okay, well it's the next morning, the boards are nice and dry, so these can all be worked with now. And now I need to cut some more boards, some smaller ones, and glue them together to make a top. So now I have this, and now I need to cut this so I can get it like a one inch board so then I can mill it down to three quarters of an inch. Okay, well tonight we are going to put the first coat of varnish on this, and then I'm going to actually head up north for a few days, I'll just let this dry, and then when I come back, we can sand it and put on another coat, and then she'll be just about done. Alright, well, one coat on. 
that's the worst one. Well, the next one you sand it, and it's got to be really nice, but it's always nice to get that first one on. Look at the grain. Well, everybody, it's time to get this project finished. The cookbook stand here. Just going to go over some, some light sand. This is like a 600 grit. Just to kind of smooth it out and everything, we're going to put one final coat of varnish, and then we'll let this dry, and this project will be finished. All right, everyone, well, the cookbook bookcase is finished. Everything is drying now. It still has, you know, another 24 hours to dry, but it's kind of amazing that this went from this to something as pretty as this in less than a year. I want to thank everybody for watching. This piece of furniture here is destined for Louisiana. We'll go down there next month when I travel down there. I'd really like to get some of that cypress down there so I can make some furniture out of that. See you guys on the next video. Lots more coming up.